people are saying if it hit 3,000 this year. If they go to war, it may well hit 3,000. I don't see it hitting 3,000, but I do see it hitting around 2,800. And again, we don't give financial advice. We turn forecasters. Think for yourself. Think about this now. For how long? Virtually every issue of the Trends Journal. We said if Iran gets goes to war with Israel and the United States becomes involved in it, you're going to see Brent crude go to above $130 a barrel. The street's saying now $100 a barrel. Even if it goes to $100 a barrel, it's going to crash. Now, at, at $100, it won't. $120, $130, it'll crash the global economy and the equity market. So gold, gold's flat, but still, what is it? Is it went on the air, 2,000, 656 dollars an ounce. Up over 600 dollars an ounce since we made the forecast. This would be a golden year for gold, and this is just the beginning. Now, even the mainstream people are saying it could hit 3,000 this year. If they go to war, it may well hit 3,000. I don't see it hitting 3,000, but I do see it hitting around 2,800. And again, we don't give financial advice. We're trend forecasters. Think for yourself. Eurozone business activity slipped back into contraction last month. You know, shit. How long have we been saying this? The HCOB's Composite Purchasing Managers Index for the block compiled by S&P Global dropped to 49.6 in September. It was at 51 in August. So a mark below 50 is contraction. And again, with these wars ramping up, a bad situation is going to be made much, much worse. And let's see what else. The composite output price index dropped to 51.5 from 53. You ready? That's the lowest since early 2021. Early 2021, the height of the COVID war. All right? So you better prepare for bad times because it's only going to get worse. Australian businesses in slump. This is news.com AU. More than 11,000 companies have gone bust in the past year. Yep. The record 39, a dramatic 39% drop, drop in insolvencies. Fashion industry faces sales slide upheaval. No kidding. We keep saying this over and over again. The fish rots at the head down from the top down or the head down. Because Levi Strauss cuts revenue outlook for a year. Yeah, where the fucking dungarees look like shit. Well, Aston Martin warns on profits. Auto sales are idling as prices remain high. Europe car sector conditions take turn for the worse. All right. Do I have to keep going on with this? Oh, you ready? Reuters. The beleaguered U.S. office property market may become, may be bottoming out, analysts told Reuters. You know what that is? Bullshit level, It ain't bottoming out. The bottom hasn't even gotten near yet. <sighs> Throughout 2023 and 2020, started 24, many developers and lenders chose to extend maturing loans with new terms or held off a sale to avoid recording a big loss. You got it. They're rigging it. It's only going to work for so long. Hey, they got you here. Since the end of the first quarter in the U.S., there were seven office properties sold at a discount of more than $100 million. <laughs> I mean, it's a fucking joke. They go, um, it, it, it's... Uh, Prices for office buildings have fallen 12.4% year over year 
in the second quarter. This thing, how about last year? This thing's going down big. Not one word about how this is going to have the banks go bust. And when that happens, you better bank on it because the office building bust is going to do it. It's a ticking time bomb for banks. No one other than the Trends Journal is speaking about it.